I'm a firm believer that the Detroit Lions will be buyers at the trade deadline. We are in a win now mode, but not just win now, win for the future. The rebuild is over. I've told you that. I've said that last year that we're not going to be talking about year three of a rebuild. And here we are, four and one, sitting two and a half games ahead of the Green Bay Packers for the NFC North title. It is ours to lose. So we just got to handle business, keep winning. If we win our division games right now, the the worst the we could have is nine wins. And we went, what did we go? Five and one last year, right? In the division. We should have went six and oh. And right now, there's a possibility we could go six and oh in the division. And that will pretty much guarantee the division for the Detroit Lions. So, but I already say we're gonna win it anyway. There's no doubt in my mind. We're not gonna crumble. We might lose a few here and there, but we're not gonna crumble. The division is ours. And that's coming from a guy who has never, ever, ever been this confident, but I am this year. So what am I, why did I bring that up? Because there's been some talk since Emmanuel Mosley has gone down about cornerback and, and the lack of depth that we have. Jerry Jacobs was the depth piece that was supposed to come in, and he only was playing because Emmanuel Mosley was still rehabbing from his knee. Then he got the hamstring injury, and then we all know what happened, and we wish him a speedy recovery. His time as a Detroit Lion has come to an end. But there's a name I keep hearing about. With the fire sale that is bound to happen in Denver, with the way that they are going, about one Patrick Sertan II. Now, I do remember when his dad was playing. Yes, I'm that old. But I've been hearing a lot of things about him possibly being on the trade block. And I'm here to tell you, from my personal opinion and from people that I've talked to, I don't think that's going to happen. From the Denver guy that I've talked to, he believes that... Patrick is a staple for the future when it comes to the Denver Broncos. Russell Wilson, Cortland Sutton, Jerry Judy, tons of other guys would move before uh, Patrick was to be moved, that he's essentially untouchable. Now, we all know the famous saying, there's a price, everybody has a price, and I'm sure the Denver Broncos do have a, a price. But uh, let me show you what that price would probably be the equivalent to, and I want to know if you would be okay with that. Now, this is coming from Pride of Detroit, and I want to show you what it is. I, I thought I had it pulled up, but do I? Yes. Okay, here we go. Coming from Pride of Detroit, says, while, they're, while they are open to trading most of their defensive talent, there should be serious doubts in any fans' minds that Denver would part ways with Patrick Sertan II. If they are, a price tag comparable to Jalen Ramsey might be on the table. Corners making first team all pro in their second seasons don't grow on trees. And we had an opportunity to take a corner, uh, but we chose not to. And here is what, if you don't remember, this is what the Jacksonville Jaguars got for trading Jalen Ramsey to the LA Rams. I believe it was in 2019. They got, yeah, because then 2022 and 23, they lost their first round picks for Matthew Stafford. They got a first round pick in 2020, a first round pick in 2021, and a 2021 fourth rounder. So you can see that the LA Rams, they like to do that. For Matthew Stafford, they threw in Jared Goff and a first round pick for his contract. Then they did a first round pick the next year and a third round pick for Matthew Stafford. The Lions aren't going to do that. They're not going to do that. That's not going to happen. I am not. I am ninety nine point nine percent certain that this is the last trade that you will see. I've been wrong before, Denzel Mims. You know, I've been wrong a lot, but I could be wrong around, uh, uh, about this. But it doesn't fit Brad Holmes. When I make videos about people that I, I, I make videos with the yeah, it may not fit, but. We also know that our GM is a mystery, and he showed me, hey, you don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to take Jack Campbell, 18th overall, in the first round when it seems like I didn't value linebackers. So he, he got that wild card, that you know unpredictability about him. But will, will this happen? I don't think so. I think one first we would be willing to part with, but I don't think that we make this move for this player. For this price, this, I just don't see that happening. I do truly believe that three weeks from today, 
the trade deadline will be an hour and a half away from the making of this video. And I think that the Detroit Lions are going to be buyers. Remember the day of the trade deadline, that day, a couple hours before the deadline, comes out that TJ Hawkinson was traded. It might come down to literally the 25th hour, but I do think that your Detroit Lions are going to be buyers at the trade deadline. Me in particular, I see either defensive end or wide receiver and maybe some way, if he can flee somebody, we get both. I don't know. That might be a pipe dream. But I do think that one of these moves will be made. I do not think that even with the Lions, not just the Lions, anybody, anybody, unless you're willing to give up a two first-round picks minimum, you are not going to get him. So I don't see that happening. But let me know in the comments below. Do you think Patrick Sertan II is worth two first-round picks and a player maybe what do you think he's worth and would you be uh willing or would you want brad holmes to pull the trigger you guys are awesome take care of yourself and each other and as always go lions